<laughs> All right, so uh, talking about what was the Game of Thrones? No, we already did that. <laughs> we already did that. Don't confuse yourself. You're, your you're going to confuse moron. yourself. <laughs> you're going to come fuzzle like. yourself, Luke. Yep. Oh. I mean oh, Dragon Ball Super, is. which is my topic today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, freaks and geeks of all ages, welcome to UVM TV's Nerds Roundtable. My name is David, and I'm joined by my friends Noah, Luke, and Bob. So For those of you who don't know what we are, we are a roundtable discussion show where we talk things all nerd-like. <laughs> Comic books, <laughs> graphic novels, body. statues, toys, video games, anything. When did we talk about, about statues? Yes, I don't know! <laughs> I meant like figurines, you know, like statues. What have we talked about those? All right, Dragon Ball Super. I want to talk about it and why it's amazing. Oh joy, more Dragon Ball! Can't get enough of that action. If you haven't seen, I'm kind of with you on this one. I'm with you on Dragon Ball Z. I've right. seen Super. Speaking of Dragon Ball Z, if you want to see our episode about Dragon Ball Z, click the link down below. Shameless self promotion. Oh my God, there may we should, or... use, we should use annotations more often in our videos. Exactly. <laughs> there may or may not be one though, because who knows. All right, so Dragon Ball Super, I wanted to talk about it. Um, a lot of people gave it a lot of hate because at the beginning, the show was just redoing um, things that um, two Dragon Ball movies that came out in 2013 and 14 did. So they really just like rehashed these movies. It took about 30 episodes, and within those 30 episodes, there was very little new content. Uh, since it was redoing the movie but didn't have a movie budget, the animation was worse. A lot of people just fell off the show like real quick. They weren't a fan, but I think recently um, it's gone past that. It's had like two like story arcs since then, and we're on the third one since like the movies. Mm -hmm. And so I think the show's really started to get like its own identity. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about why it's awesome. Now, now so why is it awesome? Who has seen the show? Have any of you guys seen it? Okay, no, I was I've one heard, of the ones I've who dropped off. things about it, so this is gonna help me get clarification. I, 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 I was one of the thirty episode drop offs. Okay, yeah. I do not no, watch. Silly. I don't blame you. I did as well, but picked it back up once they got into new stuff. Because I, I think I saw. I maybe watched the one with uh, the uh, Sayaman movie, and I liked that. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was yeah. like a mini. Uh, arc, unfortunately, I Luke, I am not the the weeaboo that you are. So um, hey, man, just because I talked about One Punch Man, One Punch Man last <laughs> is that, is that, Wait, hey, that's not the only. Reason. You're taking Japanese next year. That sounds yeah, like I just, you got, I just you got you into the class today. And, oh, very nice. And you just ordered an anime body pillow. Is that a disease? Oh, David, why are you telling people that? <laughs> it sounds like a, like some sort of like really cutesy STD. No. Oh. Anyway, Fine. so Dragon Ball Super. Um, Are we gonna quit? It's like since it depends what you like out of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball. But the three arcs they've done are like so vastly different that I think there's something for like any um, person who is like a fan of Dragon Ball in the past to like jump onto. What about GT? What? what about no, GT? we don't speak about that horrible mess. <laughs> but they, even even they the creators of the future past in it. It's no longer canon. Can no, she's yeah, she's. What X Men just opened up the, the window? Oh wait, for are you, you talking about like movie, the Goku just never, tri Are you talking about the Goku world. never kissed his wife thing? No, I haven't. That no thing. GT. That's oh, no longer kissed. He was GT a little monkey. Like, Goku's GT. Wife. No, no, no. GT. <laughs> they, they Days of Future X Men opened the window and then they were just like, you know what? Let's no, time, time travel. Goku never, never kissed happened. his wife. It was revealed in episode four, the one of the episodes. Anyway, how the hell they have kids? Oh, you don't need. Kissing the episode. <laughs> exactly. Goku's just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Anymore. <laughs> they had like one uh, universe like tournament where like the universe that like the Dragon Ball people we know are from were fighting um, fighters from like another universe. Classic tournament story arc. Exactly. Sure. Which so if you like tournaments, that was mm -hmm. a lot of I fun. Did like those. Goku whipped out the Kaioken after like we didn't see it for so long. It's uh, it was like a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, so we finally friggin' figured that one out. Yeah. Kaioken! Kaioken! 
the main villain of that arc, or not villain, like the tough guy from like Universe 6, his head like looks like a penis. <laughs> That's like 30% of Dragon Ball villains that are aliens. At That's, least 30%. No, but this one like just... Oh yeah. They, they like bring the foul. explicitly right. a penis. <laughs> Wait, what's Universe like, 6 though? I don't understand. It's, There's 12 universes. It's like the Marvel. Like, no, see, this is like Yu Gi Oh! Which, I mean, a little side tangent. I just kind of, I've been catching up on Yu Gi Oh! Like, looking back into what Yu Gi Oh! has been doing. Now they're doing, like, multiple dimensions. Oh. And, like, yeah, it, well, it's spin It's a trading card. card. It's, so, it's, it's too much. Anyway, continue. That's the direction. Japan, stop with alternate universes. It's, That's it's, the natural direction you have to go. No. I mean, um, at a certain point, yeah, you run out of content. You're in universe. So well, the the next money. arc, they brought back Future Trunks, and they did a whole, like, Future cool. Trunks thing, because okay. his future gets fucked up again. He also died but, his hair. If you like the Cell stuff, and they added some godly stuff, they bring back uh, Vegito. So if you like so, like fusion and stuff like that, um, there's all yeah, that in this arc. Fusion. Lots of cool just attack moments. That's a, just who's who's Vegito? I don't that's understand. That's not fusion. It's that's a, a, it's a fusion rings. thing between Goku that's and Vegito. A, technically, a fusion. Which are like the main like fighter guys. Okay, I guess. Not, I mean, I know <laughs> it's not with the fusion dance. It's with the Patara ear. Am I saying that right? The earrings. Patara oh. earrings. Okay. All right. Thanks. Anyway, so that one's cool. <laughs> I'm just trying to go. This here's, here's something I want to clarify, just because I want to, you know, interact a little bit, and my voice needs to be heard, that's why I did this show. Um, <laughs> uh, what's with the blue hair? That's Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, right? Yeah, Super, that's Super what they Saiyan call it. Blue. Now they just call it Super yeah. Saiyan Blue, because fuck that name. Yeah. Essentially, Goku becomes a god, which is like the red-haired form. Yeah. But then, well, not he, red hair, just the It's red. magenta. He's well, just he's red. red. He's just like red. Yeah. Anyway, it's like it's, it's like a godly kind of kind yeah. of list. Anyway, so what's the blue hair? So it, it goes, listen, it goes brown. Listen, and, okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry. He learns like key control in this because like the whole thing with Battle of Gods, like the original, where um, the god thing like got introduced, it was like, oh, that's all this power. I don't know how to control it. Super Saiyan Blue is essentially just like him learning to control. So it's that a focus. Energy. It's a focused power. Yeah, and like blue, like that's the reason it's blue too. It's like a like symbolism for like serenity and balance and everything. So. <laughs> Okay, it's it's just like, you know, you know. a lot of people are like, oh, when's Goku's next form? But I think really that's like the This has form. to be hit. It's like, he's gone through, he's had like if it, 10 Like forms. legitimately, if they bring in another form, we'll be like angered. Because like, <laughs> <laughs> well, think of it. I mean, he's, I mean, that's kind of what. They still have to do like Super Saiyan 8. Nope. <laughs> no, that's, that's what got me turned off from it. Because, like, it's just Super too Saiyan. powerful. Blue it's just people are too, like, I mean, yeah, that's, I get you yeah. have to up the ante yeah, to the villains. That's but the issue. Just too powerful. Which segues me into the most current arc, which is why you should watch the show now. This is like the craziest shit ever. Um, they're having this tournament where if your tournament loses and only one tournament can win, so or if your universe loses, now it's all twelve universes in this tournament. If your universe loses, it gets erased by what? like the god who like rules Holy over shit. all the universes. What it did. So stakes are like at their highest. Um like, only one uh, universe can win. And the thing about it, it's like a battle royale. So you pick ten fighters from your oh, universe wow. to fight in this battle royale. Is Piccolo cool. in it? Because Pic he's cool. Piccolo's going to be in it. I like Piccolo. See, is the thing powerful? about, since it's like the whole thing is about survival, they're really emphasizing in this specific arc, not, like, technique over power. Huh. Which was what made um, a lot of the early Dragon Balls so enjoyable to yeah. me. Before they went into like, oh yeah, just keep on adding yeah. power and yeah. hacks. And yeah, because Goku had to find a way to... I mean, Vegeta was still more powerful than Goku. But yeah. he when they the fought each other, yeah. but he was able to outsmart yeah. him, basically. So if you like, yeah. just Google search, I can also put it on the screen, like when does the Universal Survival Tournament uh, start? It's like one of the early like episode 70s. Um, like you get that whole story... And, um, yeah, you don't need much prior information. So if you wanted to just jump to this, because I really like what they're doing. They made, they made Krillin look like a badass. They which, did. Which is, oh, that's no, awesome. That's awesome. It, yeah, in the original okay. Dragon Ball, he, like, looked He was, he was badass. Useful. He yeah. had some great moments up until, yeah. like, the Frieza saga. Well, I mean, yep. at that point, until like, after, that, after that, he was uh, more of a punching bag. He, he became young. Yeah, he, he, he became, became young. young. So he, no, he was a comic relief. Yeah, he was the yeah. comic relief. Which, by the way, Yamcha will not be in the Universal Thank Survival Thank God. Time. You got... Like, of course I'll just not. run them down real quick so you have, like, an idea. You have Goku, Vegeta, Majin Buu, which is skinny now. So he, like, looks like he's, Super he's Buu, but he's got, like, his... He went, he went on a diet? <laughs> yeah, like, he trained for a day, and that's what happened. Well, he's also made a putty, it's and he can change his yeah. shape. It's essentially, like, the gold freeze All right, come on, move through. Um... Piccolo, Krillin, Tien, Master Roshi. 
Yeah, well, I'm interested what? to see that. He could be yeah. a wild guy. Is he, is he the hunchback? He's, no, he's, old he's like the old man master. I thought he was a hunchback. I don't think he's power. Okay. Android 18, Android 17 they're bringing back. <gasps> was and he then, dead? No, he just like was doing his own thing and they kind of like wrote him Right, and then GT. So they're know. writing him back in. And then, what's the last Gohan? one? Go on, yeah. yeah. I, I was gonna say, like, they have to kind of include And Gohan yeah. in, in this um, arc has already, like, had a chance to, like, prove himself. So he's already, like, showing that he'll be, like, not he a dead weight serious? like he's been recently. Yeah. So he's it's great. Lots of yeah. good stuff happening. Great in the to show. get Cell. Yeah. Not so great in well, the Boo saga and yeah. stuff, you know? Well, I mean, he didn't get past number two, you know, Super Saiyan 2. Has he passed that at this point? Well, no. Um, yeah, well, he was at two. They haven't shown his full power yet. They they always show him as like yeah. he's like as, when he gets angry yeah. he um, um, subconsciously thing. unleashes yeah. something yeah extremely more powerful yeah. than two yeah like he's able to keep his speed and strength at the same time you yeah. can't sacrifice yeah. one without the other yeah. exactly yeah um, now just as a final note from me I kind of want to just make a comment twelve universes only of all the things that Dragon Ball has done that's that's pretty conservative of them yeah. I mean. They DC Comics from, like, has, like, 52, yeah. and, like, Marvel I mean, has God knows how many. Maybe they actually, well, at least... Well, it's a, like, there's thousands. a whole explanation yeah, for it. I don't want to explain it, but essentially, like, each universe has, like, a parallel. And it's, like, um, going, like, each one adds to 13. So, like, 12 uh, and 1 are parallels, 6 and 7 are parallels, which is why they originally had their tournament, like, for that first one. Okay. So, yeah, yeah um, it's got this whole theory behind it. I mean, it's it, probably smart you, to keep it I'm not going to explain that, because I can't really. Complicated. Again, to restate, the reason why you should watch it is because they're really, like, taking care to, like, cater to the fans in this current, like, That's one. Because cool. they're bringing back a lot of characters and, like, Launch? giving them moments to shine. Well, except for her. <laughs> All right, well, she's she's gone about her. Her. She's gone that'll forever. be it from us, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, freaks and geeks, all you. Thank you so much for stopping by this episode of UVM TV Nerds Around Table. If you like what you hear, consider leaving a like on the video, commenting, sharing with your friends, and subscribing to the YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with what the show does, behind the scenes, updates on when new episodes come out, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at UVM TV Nerds. Uh, it's a good place to stop by if you want to see some shenanigans. Mm. I've been David. I've been super uncomfortable with this. You can call me Young Goku, I, follow me on I've Twitter. also now. I'm Bob. This has been UVM TV's Nerds Around Table. Thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, live long and prosper. Stay classy.